it's a lab let's do some activity to know about the physical changes and chemical changes the first activity is melting of ice for this take a bowl put some ice cubes in it and leave it for some time and observe it what do you observe these ice cubes have melted and converted to water now again put it back into the ice tray and put it into the fridge you will get the same ice cubes it means it is called a physical change write down in comment box example of such physical changes next activity is cutting of papers for this take a piece of paper and cut it into pieces now put them together what do you get get the same paper not in the same shape but it holds the property of paper you can write it over them this is called physical change a change where no new substance is formed is called physical changes and it is reversible burning of paper take those pieces and burn them what do you observe this burning of paper converted to ash take out those unburned pieces can you write it over this ashes no because it does not hold the properties of paper the new substance is formed here the ashes similarly burn incense stick it will give us the fragrance as well as incense stick is converted to ashes you cannot get back the same a change in which the new substance is formed is called a chemical change the next activity is melting of wax for this take a candle and burn it and collect all the melted wax in a container here i have used a bottle cap you can use any container whether this wax will work or not now put a thread into it and let it to be dried let's burn it and check whether this melted wax act like the candle or not yes we get the back wax can you make floating candle at home the very next one is sugar solution for this we will take water in a bowl and a spoonful of sugar now stir it so that the sugar will completely dissolve in water and we will get the sugar solution now how will you get back the sugar again now take another container and put the solution in it put the container on the flame what do you observe the water get vaporized and the sugar is caramelized here we get the sugar similarly you can take the salt solution for this activity it is a physical change similarly we will take the chalk clay for this activity take some water in a bowl and soak the chalk into it overnight a thick paste and squeeze it so that all the water will come out and make a dough and roll it let it to be dry let's test it it works like chalk so we get that our chalk this means it is also a physical change so let's see what is the difference between chemical changes and physical changes chemical change is change where the new substance is formed and physical change is change where the no new substance is formed chemical change is irreversible we cannot get back the original substance but in physical change we can get back the original substance write down in the comment section examples of such chemical changes and thank
Thank you for watching till the end. If you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe it and press the bell icon for further notification. And if you like this video, then don't forget to turn one thumb blue. Take care. Bye bye.